It's really weird. It's really weird that you're here right now. <laughs> I don't know how to start, so I'm just gonna start. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Cause it's nail time for me. It's nail time. I don't have a stand for my car, right? Let's start off by saying that. So if things are shaking around a little bit, whoa, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm taking you along because I'm going to get my nails done. And uh, yeah, I put up this video. I put up this video on, uh, whatchamacallit, on Instagram. Well, not a video, it was a picture. It's a picture with a caption. I feel nervous that you guys are here right now. So let me just start by saying that. Anyway, um, I put up this picture on Instagram and I was like, I miss you guys, right? Like, I spent so long with you guys, like, in my life. And then life just became too much for you guys. Like, I had to make room for myself and what I needed. So, you guys, I broke up with you guys. It happens. Um, but I think I have a little bit of room now. I have a, oh, and I also have a green light. <laughs> I'm stopping <laughs> like an idiot. Um, I think I have a little bit of room now. So, this is the thing. My husband, he's not around a lot at night because of work. And I have time. And, and you know, what do I do? TikTok? I go on TikTok. I watch TV. I watch the camera go that way. I gotta get a, I gotta get a thing. So, I have all this time. And I put up that thing on Instagram. And I was like, guys, do you think I should start making videos again. This is my gap shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was like, should I start making videos or should I make a video? And I got reached out to by, um, what, what you would call it? Uh, YouTube. And they were like, Hey, you haven't made videos in a really long time. We're going to take away your YouTube privileges. We're going to take away everything from you. So either start posting again or like your channel's done for. Right. So I was like, you know what? I don't want my channel to be done for. I don't know, I haven't posted in so long, but like, I still don't want them to take that away from me. I was recording. I got nervous that I haven't been recording. I haven't done this in so long. So I figured, let me see if it feels right. Let me see if it feels right to do a video, hang out with you guys again. So that's why I'm here. I figured I'd start with my little mobile camera. So that's why I'm here. Um, it's been a long time. I think it's been, I think it's been like seven years or six years. And I put, I, you know, I was commenting, you know, I was going back and forth and, you know, chatting with some of the commenters. I got so many comments about make videos again, make videos again. And I'm like, but I'm old now. I'm old. I'm going to be 45 this, this summer. And someone made a really good point. She's like, your viewers got old with you. I'm like, you know what? They got a point. They got a point. Touche. Touche. So, let's try this thing, right? Let's try this thing. It's just, it's been a crazy few years in the Riley house. Um, I think last we spoke... I was still doing things like Boxy Charm and Gwenny B and uh, what else? I don't know. I was doing a lot of stuff, but I just it all it all came to a, a halt because I had gotten a promotion at my job and I was trying to swing both things. Right? I was trying to swing both things. I can't. Sw I couldn't. I couldn't at the time swing both things. And then. My husband was working, I think he was working five to one, like 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, and I'd come home and he'd be there and then I'd be doing videos and then I'd work my 45 plus hours at my daytime job and then I'm coming home and I'm editing videos and it, it was just like, 
it was too much, right? I was just, there were too many things involved. So I tried for like a year to get it done. I try, I wanted to do it, you know, I wanted to um, keep it going, but I just, I couldn't. So um, now that he works overnights, I have this time and I just kind of dick around, not really do a whole lot. I color, no, I don't color. I used to color. I've gotten stuff for coloring, but I, I stopped coloring. But um, I do a lot of things like meal prep and cleaning, and I have five cats now, five. Um, for people that have kept up with me on Instagram, you will have seen things that have happened over the last few years. I've had a lot of heartbreak. I've had a lot of change. A lot of um, entities in my life have switched. So. Um, uh, Harley and Lily did pass away about two and a half years ago, which was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, they passed within two weeks of each other. Um, Harley had um, pulmonary issues and he had a uh, hypertrophic heart disease. I feel, you know, now that I'm driving, I can't focus on it. So, um, and so he, he died first. I was so sad that he died, but I was almost a little relieved because I felt like all of a sudden he was suffering, like his breathing wasn't good. And then um, when I saw him open mouth breathing, I, I just, it was 12 hours in a vet and back and forth and he was just not doing well. So it was just the right choice for him. But Lily got cancer. So um, Lily the Gray, that was just heartbreaking. And uh, she had a, I noticed in August of that year, she had a little bump on her chin and they biopsied it and they couldn't figure out what it was. Like they thought, they didn't know. They, they gave her a steroid shot in her, in her tush and they expected the shot was going to whatever, they thought it was inflammation, but nothing happened. So then a week later I was like, no, if, if this was something like that, it would have if there was something like that, that it would have just shrunk if it was inflammation, and it didn't. So then um, I had them biopsy it, and they couldn't diagnose it. It took weeks to diagnose it, and then they figured it was um, a B cell lymphoma, B for bad, T for terrible. That's how they kept beating it into my head. Like you don't want the T cell, but it was a B cell, but it was still. Well, so we had it removed, she had surgery, but then by January, it had come back and because of where it was on the chin, and it had, she had multiple growths on her jawline, like in the area, and that's what lymphoma kind of does, right? It can go anywhere, it can go anywhere. This video is crazy, I'm sorry guys. Um, it can go anywhere in the lymphatic system so it could have been anywhere in her body. I don't, I honestly don't believe it was, but my doctor kept saying like, Sam, this could be anywhere. So he would have had to remove her jaw, the bottom part of her jaw. All right, I'm at the destination. This is just easier. This is just easier. So, um, what was I saying? Okay, so, okay. So they would have had to remove the bottom part of her jaw and, um, it just wouldn't have stopped there. So um, I just took as best care of her as I could and I kept up, we did chemo, we did everything. And um, once this grew back, once I noticed that her teeth were now going into the growth and she had trouble eating, I knew it was time. Um, she wasn't in any pain, but um, the only one in pain was me and Matt, which was significant. Um, it's been two and a half years and I'm still in pain over her. It's hard putting a, an animal down that you love so much and you expected she was going to live such a long time. Uh, she was so healthy. She was so healthy that when they gave her the shot, her heart was so strong. It, it took like a really long time for it to work. You know, like normally, like bear up when they gave him the shot, like he was out, like it was, he passed like seconds. Lily, like I was, I, I held her in my arms and like it took a long time for it to work. And even when he was like, oh, it's, it's all right. Um, 
you know, she's, she's gone. I was like, are you sure? Like, and he listened to her heart again and he's like, oh, it's still kind of eating a little. So then we waited and it was a while, but anyway, moving on. So I had that loss, right? Um, so that was hard. That was January. In September of that year, I, uh, I don't know. I always kind of look on pet finder and all that stuff. So I saw this orange cat that, um, I was like, this orange cat is calling my name, right? Cause I, I, I love cats. Like <laughs> so many cats. So, um, I went down to the shelter that I've gotten all my cats at and, um, the orange cat hated me. Hate, hate, this cat bit me, not like full on bite me, but the cat was like, Rah! and kind of, you know, that cat wanted nothing to do with me. So I said to Alicia at All About Spay and Neuter in um, Massapequa, I said to her, just show me, show me the nicest cat you've got. Like, you know, I, I don't care what the cat looks like. So they show me Simon, who is my little boy. He's just this beautiful black cat with these little green eyes. He's just, I love him. He's my Simon. I call him my Simon. <laughs> um, he suckled for the first year we had him. Like, he would suckle on my blanket. He would just look so freaking cute. He'd make little biscuits and suckle on me. And then uh, a couple weeks later, uh, his sister and his brother were there. So I went back. And his sister has um, CH, which is wobbly cat disease. Um, it's uh, cerebellar hypoplasia. So she does this all the time and like her legs are unsteady. And she was so sweet, but I was like, I can't handle a special needs cat after dealing with what I dealt with. And I don't know, I went back and I got her. So I call her Baloney. So now I've got Baloney and Simon. Well, her name is Daisy, so Daisy and Simon. And then Sasha and Dex. And I spent years, years befriending a feral cat in my backyard. Mama, when Mama first came around about seven years ago, she was preggers. And um, we caught her. We trapped her. We neutered her. Uh, we spayed her. And she stuck around our backyard. Slowly, the backyard cats have gone away or passed on. We had OG. OG did pass. Uh, we caught him. We got him uh, neutered. And he, like a month or two later, he passed away. I found him actually in the little cat house Matt made him, which was so sad. But um, at least he, you know, passed away at home. But he was a really, he was a brawler. He was a, I call him a jungle cat. Um, he really was getting into fights all the time. So it took me a long time, but I got mama inside. I documented the whole thing on TikTok. And TikTok freaking banned my account so I had to start over but I still have all the videos but I well documented the whole progress with mom I was very happy um, she's inside she is loving life um, if I'm home that cat is next to me she wants her pets she want the first time I got my hands on her and I petted her she actually drooled she drooled like I was petting her face and she was drooling I mean she I think she's never felt anything so great as to get like a head massage so she sleeps with me every night. Um, all the cats coexist. None of the cats are like besties, right? Um, Harley and Lily were thick as thieves. They were like a bonded pair. They were just besties for life. But none of my cats are like that. They all kind of run independently of one another and um, they all coexist. So like, they don't really fight. <laughs> Simon and Baloney, they fight because they're siblings, so they sibling fight. And like, I'll hear her go, Row! and they, they, they fight with each other. Like, Simon will go for her, and then she'll go for him, and then she'll chase him around. And when she, she runs, she kind of hops like a bunny. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, yeah, so I have five cats. Um, Rescuing cats is such a passion for me. The girl actually who runs the rescue asked if I would um, help uh, help with the cats on site. Um, I just don't have time for it. And I get too attached. I'd wind up with like 85 cats. And then Matt would divorce me. Um, big house, five bedrooms, 5,000 cats later. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I can't have any more cats. So, um, I have attachment issues with cats, so I definitely could not, um, volunteer my time. So I do send donations there and, um, you know, I send food and, and anything that they need as, as often as I can, I send donations, but I unfortunately cannot work there 
and help. She said, you know, you know, help, uh, help the cats get used to hands on and, um, you know, just socializing them, but I can't do it. I want to, I want to do it. Oh, that's a yawn. My, uh, my nail stylist just pulled up, <laughs> but I'm early for my appointment. I'm seven minutes early. I'm not sure what I'm getting yet. I have this currently. I love a good rainbow nail moment. Um, so that's it. So that's that on that front. What else? What else? A couple of years ago, um, Matt's mom actually moved in with us. So she was with us. She moved in with us a month before pandemic. A month before pandemic. That was crazy. So um, he still worked all through pandemic because he was a chef at a retirement home. And um, so he still worked through pandemic, but I was off for three months. So I was at home with my mother-in-law for three months. It was pretty wild. But um, she has since passed. So this August will be two years that she passed. Um, so the house, you know, the house is empty again. It's just me and Matt and all our cats. Um, my mom is still good. My dad is still good. Um, there's also some crazy stuff with my family that's gone on. So that's wild. Um, I don't know. I'm going to bring this video though, back to the house. Um, maybe I'll chit chat, show you guys some products that I've been loving. I know people were asking about that. But you're asking for a life update. Um, I've been eating really healthy. I do my fitness pal. Um, always on that freaking life weight journey shit. Um, I did Ozempic a couple years ago. It wasn't for me. I did lose weight, but it made me very sick. Um, so now I just eat healthy and eat balanced and count calories like a good girl. Um, I got my teeth done. So that was painful and expensive. <laughs> I did that years ago, but it's always been something that I've been really self-conscious about. And, um, I, I was going to do it a decade ago, but I was like, I know they don't last forever. So, you know, after talking to my dentist for years and years and years about it, I'm like, I'm going to wait till my forties. So about three years ago, no, it was three years ago. Yeah, about three years ago now, I got I got I got my chompers done. So I'm really happy with those. I my guy did a great job. Like, look, look at how good. Hey, so I'm not trying to brag. That was expensive and painful, but it's something I wanted to do for myself that bothered me for years. I mean, people on YouTube were brutal about my teeth. Okay, I had to block certain comments like yellow and stuff like that because I got so many comments about my teeth being yellow and it wasn't my doing it was just they were always like that even as a kid um that's how they came in so i was very happy to get that done and um i don't know i tattooed my eyebrows a couple times you know it took a couple times for it to stick and now it's stuck i know you guys know my personal life has changed a little bit um i'm not really gonna talk about that but um you know, I have my great friends. Um, I've had some some of my friends my whole life. Like Jackie and Kristen and Sarah. I've got my friends from work like um like Britt and Karen and I have a really great support system, so um I'm not gonna talk about the other thing. Um because it's pointless. <laughs> it's pointless so um you know a lot of you ask a lot but I'm not gonna talk about that um, cuz really why so um, life moves on and then what life moved on and I'm happy and I'm doing well um, so that's all I'm gonna say about that um, all right you know what she's waving me in it's nail time baby all right I'll pick this up later um, yeah, I'm picking up this up, up later. Okay, all right, yeah. So I'm back at my house now, and you're back at my house now. Okay, so 
This, I gotta be honest, guys, this is like really, it's, it, it feels really weird. Um, it feels really strange to have you in my house again, but hello. Um, you know, it really shouldn't feel so crazy, honestly, because I, um, I still have done TikToks through the years before they all got deleted and I've kept up with Instagram, but it's mainly cats. Um, a bunch of you guys were asking, I don't know where my cell phone is, so I'm not going to look. But I, I know a bunch of you were asking just like products I've been using lately. So I figured that's a good jump off point for me just to just show you some stuff I've been using. Um, things I grab for a lot. I found that I have been wearing foundation and that kind of stuff a lot lately because... My skin's older, it's changing, I have fine lines, yay for me! <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, there's a lot of ums going on because I don't know where my brain is going right now and I feel very fidgety, so I apologize. But anyway, any who's, I, uh, I have been wearing a lot of foundation lately. When my eyes are looking a little dark, I go for a tiny bit of concealer and then just some loose powder under the eyes. I, I find that if I don't put a little bit of something under the eyes, most mascaras that I wear will uh, smudge. I, being as old as I am, I, I my skin is still very oily, you know, especially in the T-zone, and I can't find mascaras that don't smudge on me at least a little bit. I used to love the Clinique Bottom Lash. Now I can't even wear it because I just raccoon eye after about an hour. So I found one though. I found one mascara that never ever smudges on me. What is this called? This is uh, the Panorama Panorama by L'Oreal. It's a drugstore. Um, I had fell into the TikTok hype about it and I tried it. I don't love the wand. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's a tapered wand. It's a it's a rubber wand, which I don't love. The formula is a little wetter than I appreciate. However, if you go slow, you go light-handed with the mascara, and you take it slow, thin layer by thin layer, it gives you a decent amount of length. For me, volume really isn't there, but it doesn't smudge, which I super duper appreciate. Um, let me find something else to show you guys. Sasha's on the floor. She has entered the chat. Um, I will add a little bit of one size, one coat of one size. I'll do two coats of this and then one coat of one size. At the end, this will make sure they stay separated and this gives me the little bit of volume. So the two of these together, I really super love those. Um, so those are the mascaras I've been using. Not wearing a lot of makeup. Not wearing a lot of makeup. I love makeup. I slowed down buying makeup for years and then I pick back up and then I slow down. It kind of ebbs and flows as you guys see. See right now I'm wearing a little bit of powder. It looks like I'm wearing something but I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm wearing, I've got brow gel and a little bit of pencil on. Itsy bitsy little bit of NYX um, micro brow whatever it's called. I've got the Benefit um, brow gel. Um, what, what, I, I can't, I don't even know what anything's called anymore guys. I swear I'm the worst. It's this one. <laughs> Um, I've got a little bit of that. Actually, this one probably has a name. Gimme Brow. Benefit Gimme Brow. And I use the medium cool brown for my eyebrows. And I'm wearing mascara. And then I take the tiniest little itty bit of black eyeshadow. And I put that right at the lash line to cover the little dots of mascara I get on my lid. My, my lashes curl up. So I've always had this problem. When I put on mascara, my lid gets covered. Um, I do this this whole thing now when I put on mascara. That does help. Uh, hello, droopy eyelids. But uh, I need something to cover the lash line if I don't want to go in with like a Q-tip and clean it up for clean girl aesthetic. But I, I, I tend to like a little bit of eyeshadow right at the lash line. Okay, so that's what I've been doing. I have a lot of lips. A lot of lip stuff. Not a lot of lips. That sounds weird. I still buy ungodly amounts of lip products because I can be influenced with lip products so easily. Um, high end, medium end, low end, cheap, expensive. I don't really care. I have luxury products. I have drugstore products. I don't. I, I don't care anymore. I, if I like something, I like something. My one of my favorite duos. I'm not wearing it right now. 
it's this Maybelline one. I saw this on TikTok. This was the, no, yeah, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is the color, I don't know. Gu guys, I gotta, let's see. <laughs> let's see. It's called Ink Crayon. I know there's a color in here. I know there's a color. It's this color. <laughs> it says sharpener, which that means there's a sharpener in the back. It's not the color. Um, it must have been on, oh, it's on the front, because I'm a dum-dum. It's called Lead the Way. It's number 15. So this color along, and this is so, it, it's a really pretty, kind of like a dark nude. And someone had paired that with the gloss that goes with it called Lifter Gloss. It's a hyaluronic acid infused gloss. It's really pretty and it's called Silk. So um, these two together are very, very nice together. I love it and um, I, I do wear this a lot. The only thing I don't love is for older lippies like me, if you get fine lines or it kind of creases, sometimes it could spread a little bit. Um, it says super long stay. I don't find it to be that long of a stay. So. Um, Two other, you know, there's a couple products here that are really super affordable that I've loved. And it's these, these e.l.f. I have, they're everywhere in my vicinity. The e.l.f. glosses. These lip oils are bomb. I have every shade. These are the two I go for the most. This one is the brownish one. What is it called? Again, with the glasses. Gotta go on. Um, This one is called... Sam, you can't read because you're blind. Sam, I can't even see it. You guys. Oh, maybe it's upside down. It says Glow Reviver Lip Oil. Okay, it's the brown one. And then the, the glossy one. So, um, yeah, I can't see the name on either one of these. But these are really, really, I love these, these products. I always have them in my bag. I'm a super big fan of them. I'm going to wipe off the back of my hand. Because I feel like this is going to go on my white gap America shirt. America shirt. So, um, when these first came out, again, super fan. I love them. Going along with that, two products I really, really like. I think I have these in every friggin' color. I've gotten bundles where they are on sale. I've gotten during the holidays. Oh, yeah, look. Here's another, here's another one from uh, Elf. Just sitting on my desk. Anyway. Uh, I've been getting a lot. I've gotten a lot of these the Tarte Maracuja lip plumpers This is another product. I've been I've been looking for products and I, I gravitate towards things that I don't have to f Bring five products with me, especially if I've got like my on-the-go quick out-the-door bag I have a huge tote bag my tote bag could fit a human pretty much, but uh, that's for work my everyday bag I have next to it on my living room table so I'll just grab my small bag and I usually only want, only want to put like one or two products in there these another good one I mean you're not gonna be able to see it on my hand but it's so glossy and pretty this one is soft pink shimmer and this one I think is the peach yeah this one's peach shimmer glass it's just it's you can't even really see it so I'm not even gonna try to show you but if you know you know Okay, orange drink, no J-Lo. Okay. Um, no, I really like those products. I think they are very nice. They last a long time for me. You just quick reapply. Makes me happy. Whatever. Uh, what other lippy products can I talk about? I have them all in front of me. About six months ago, I went on the, uh, the hunt for Cool Tone Nude lip products. And I, I found two. One, a girl from Ulta actually directed me to the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper, uh, the crayon, and it's called Puffy Nude. I'm going to preface this. I'm going to preface something with this. This burns like a mother. Okay. It's a really good, taupey, beigey, pretty nude shade. I really like it. You got to use a light hand. When I paired this, with this Fenty gloss, which I would have been talking about next anyway. This is the Fenty lip gloss. This I think this is plumping too. It's called Sweet Mouth. These two products together give me the perfect nude that I love. It's just these two together right here. When I wear them, it's just mm, 
But my lips, <laughs> I'm gonna cough. <clears throat> I have, I'm getting over bronchitis. My lips burn like fire. <laughs> like so much is on there. It's just so painful. It does plump my lips. I don't want my lips plumped all that much, but it's so, so fiery. But if you like that, you like that, uh, the, the lip is just, it's there. It's such a good nude combination. The other nude lip liner that I waited forever to come back in, uh, another cool tone lip is from Sephora. It's called, uh, what is it called? Rouge Gel Lip Liner. And it's the color, come on, Sammy, can you see it? Can you see it without the glasses? You can't because you're old as shit. Um, the Nudist, it's called The Nudist. This shade I'm wearing right now, it's so pretty and it's, it's basic. Right? It's like a basic pinky cool tone for like pale white girls like myself. Looks great, I love this. I paired this today with, uh, what is this? Icon Baby from Charlotte Tilbury. Just a tiny bit. This one's a little bit more warm. I mean, I just a little in the middle. Just a tiny little in the middle and then I'm wearing the Fenty Gloss on top of it. That combination is like, love it. So again, not wearing a ton today. I mean, like a scotch of blush. I'm wearing, what is this, MAC blush, blush baby. I'm gonna tell you something funny about this. I'm gonna tell you something funny about this right now. MAC right now is doing a 40% off almost everything sale. So you can only buy 14 things online now. So if you want more than 14 things, you have to do another order, which is ridiculous. But <laughs> I forgot I had this and I bought it again. So I have another one coming. <laughs> so someone in my family or friend circle is going to get this blush for free. It was, you know, a lot less expensive than it normally is. So. I can't say no to a good deal, honestly. Uh, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? Airbrush Flawless Finish. I keep this in my bag, along with this random, what is this, Morphe brush? And I just, you know, I do this, like this. T-zone, T-zone. Under eye, when I'm getting a little, a little bit shiny, little shiny areas, just like that. That's it, I love it. I love it. Yeah, okay, a couple more things I wanted to show you guys. I figured some of the things that I've been loving, I mean, it's a good way to kick off this I haven't been around in years thing, right? Okay, my favorite, and if you know me, you know my favorite perfume of all time is Chanel. Outendre, <laughs> it's the pink one. It's in the round bottle, it's got the silver outline. They finally came out with a travel size. It comes with an automa, uh, automizer, item, item, automizer, automizer, yeah. And it, um, it's a travel. I don't gotta pull it. I, I don't want to pull it. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like break it. Um, oh, duh. You twist it up, and you can, like this. It comes with I think three of these. Uh, I carry this in my bag. I was very happy when this came out. I am a huge fan of this perfume, but I, I'm not going to carry around the uh, the full size. And I have a bunch of those. Um, I don't have any right here. I have some of those that you pump yourself and you put in the bag. But I always feel like I don't know. I lose them. They just they just disappear. So I was happy this came out. I got that during the holidays. <sighs> Did I show you one of my favorite lipsticks? This is one of my favorite lipsticks. Of course, this is by Dior. This is called Rouge Dior. It's number 220. It's, again, really pretty basic nude shade. These are the colors I've been gravi gravitating towards. I think I heard about this color from Michaela on TikTok. Everybody thinks her accent is fake. I don't really care because I just look for makeup recommendations. That's it. I don't care about anything about them personally. I just, if the videos come up, I see something I like, I put it in my little list, and then I buy it. Um, this liner, I want to talk about too. This is my NYX. This, I was, <laughs> my whole life, I've been against a felt tip eyeliner, liquid liner. I've always loved the Jap Japanese cal calligraphy tip. This one is the Epic Ink Link Epic Ink Liner. This black eyeliner does not 
smudge on my skin, which for me is, will trump everything else. Forever, I did the KVD or Kat Von D um, uh, tattoo liner. I love that, but I would always get like the little black smudges eventually all day, and then I'd just be on like smudge watch, which I, I have to do that with my mascara most of the time before I switch to the, um, the whatever, the panoramic one. I don't want to be on smudge watch. I really don't. So I got that. I also got this because everybody was talking about it. Uh, the Urban Decay Waterline Pencil. This is specific, specifically black for the waterline. I really enjoy this, but I don't use too much of it. Like I'll put a little bit and then smudge it through. I don't full on use it because if I use too much of this, this will smudge on me, even though it says it doesn't smudge. So those are some of my go-tos right now. Some of my products that I go to. Um, I have to be honest, it feels a little strange to be talking to the camera or to you guys right now. Um, I'm going to be trying to load this as soon as I can. Um, yeah, a lot has changed. A lot has changed over the years. I'm in a different place now than I've been in a long time. Um, I'm happy. I'm surrounded by people that make me happy and support me and, um, that I could just be myself around and, uh, I don't feel, um, you know, anxious or judged or, uh, just unhappy. You know, I, I don't feel like I have to just be a certain way. Like I just, it's nice. It's nice to just be happy and growing and, uh, have focus and on things and people and cats and, you know, everything that makes you happy. I mean, I think that's really important in life just to focus on what makes you happy and not, you know, what makes other people happy because honestly if you don't spend the time making yourself happy you can't make anyone else happy you know and uh i've never been the kind of person that um likes to play a victim or likes to say what was me i just kind of want to live my life and just have it be that and just have fun so that's where i've been at that's where my mind my my mindset is um Keeping my house clean, keeping my diet clean, keeping my cat's litter clean, uh, you know, and just working. And, you know, I'm on TikTok too much, I, I gotta be honest. Um, if, if you guys were happy to see me come back, you know, happy to see me post this video, I know that my, once I post this, YouTube is just gonna like, all my subscriber counts are gonna be like, ah, cause that's what happens. Like, it just deletes subscribers every time I used to post videos. So I'm assuming that's gonna happen now. But, um, you know, if you stuck around and you are here again and you've aged with me and uh, you want to know what I think and who I am and who, you know, and we could find things together, like experiment with lashes as a 44 year old. <laughs> if there's things you guys wanna do together and uh, you appreciate you know, the content, again, I'll consider coming back. Um, yeah. I, I got nothing else to do right now. I got free time. So I'm happy to spend it with you guys if you want to spend it with me. But it was good seeing you guys. Thank you for all the lovely, loving comments I got on my Instagram post. Um, and I hope that I see you again soon. Right? I'm sorry for the beginning of this video, video being crazy. I was trying to vlog. Not easy for me. Sorry about that. I hope you bear with it. Okay, goodbye.